is the police still our friend? It is quite common to hear that the police is your friend, whether one tends to believe it or not. The Nigerian police force never fails to reiterate this mantra. However, excesses of some members of the police force present ironic interpretation of the famous police court. Police brutality has unfortunately become a norm in Nigeria. Although it is not peculiar to Nigeria alone, as other countries of the world also battle with the excesses of their police personnel. However, it is prevalence in Nigeria is increasingly worrisome. The incidents of battery, assault, illegal harassment, extortion and detention of Nigerians have continued almost unabated. Prosecution of rogue police personnel has not curbed the menace. Most defaulters have been apprehended, especially when their excesses result in fatality. These reactionary efforts have not solved the recurrence of police brutality, nor have it calm agitations for police reforms or the scrapping of the infamous special anti-robbery squad purportedly reformed to Federal Special Anti-Robbery Squad, FSAS. The reform of SARS into FSAS in January 2019 marginally calmed freed NAVs that were agitating for a total scrap of the policing unit. It also ushered in rays of hope for the Nigerian society that is characterized by police brutality. The continued excesses of police personnel have shown that ending brutality of the force is beyond the structural rearrangement of SARS but a total overhaul. Police brutality is not peculiar to FSAS alone. It is a common phenomenon among security agencies in Nigeria but most prevalent within the police force. Recently in Shagamu, Ogun State, a young man was reportedly killed by FSAS officials after he was arrested. His demise has led to a breakdown of law and order in the area. Media reports say that at least one person has been killed in the ongoing protests organized by residents of Ogun State a response to the killings by the police personnel. Recall the three traders were reportedly killed as police operatives pursued alleged internet protesters earlier this February. The inappropriateness of some members of the police force is sprayed throughout the country. Within a month, the Nigerian Police Command in Lagos State has dismissed four police officers and punished 41 others for improper conduct. In 2016, a human rights group accused the Nigerian police force of over 40 extrajudicial killings. The recurrence of these avoidable killings calls to mind the urgent need to find lasting solutions to the menace. Online movements have helped to push the agitations and create awareness. But these recurrent incidences call for a total review of the Nigerian police force and its modes of operations. The Nigerian police bill, currently in the legislative chambers, which aims to reform the police force should be passed tracked. The bill, amongst other objectives, intends to ensure that the police officers are held accountable for their actions while making arrests, searches and detentions of persons. Importantly, it aims to modernize the police force to become a service-oriented agency that will meet global police standards and a democratic society. Beyond this, emotional intelligence and discipline should become guiding principles of our law enforcement agents. Security personnel at all times should be mentally ready to handle the dynamics of the Nigerian populace. A behavioral change that will sensitize police personnel that they are for the citizens is of utmost importance. By their actions, people need to see law enforcement agents as people they can work with in ensuring a peaceful and safety society. The police is your friend mantra needs to be upheld beyond words.